Hi there, welcome to another sales thought of the day. This sales thought, as you can see, is about creating prospects. It's titled Filling the Seats. So let's get right at it. Uh, you can see here the journey of Chris Youngren, uh, years in the car business. Been a long ride, so that's not our real objective, so we'll buzz through that. Here's what we want to talk about. So fill in the seats. Fill in the seats of a what? Yeah, a Ferris wheel. So who's ever ridden one of these? Yeah, just about everybody out there. Uh, maybe not as large as this one or tall as this one, but we've all probably been on one. So here's the real question, and that is, what's the process for, for getting on and off one of these? Yeah, you're, you're correct. So it's typically um, what you'll see is people get on here at the bottom, you know, where, where it's safe on the ground, and you get on and then you kind of got a clockwise fashion, the person right here and the, the person in this cart right here, the one that's touching the ground, they get out and somebody gets in and then they scoot you up and they scoot you up and they scoot you up and they keep going around here till they get all the seats full on this ferris wheel and then once they go in the clockwise fashion these people finally get on and then they take off at the ferris wheel so i've heard that the pipeline of your prospects and sales is similar to having your seats full on your ferris wheel so the beginning stages would be, you know, early on here, you're getting people that are just now starting to research. They're collecting information. They're maybe asking a little bit of info on the vehicles. However, they're doing the research, gathering info, trying to figure out what they want, SUV, truck, van, makes, models. So there's a lot of uh, thought going on there. And then these stages in here, probably getting a little bit closer, narrowing down some of the choices. Let's say that we figured out we want an SUV. We've got it between two different uh, models and two different makes. And so we're collecting information. We're maybe going to de doing demo drives and present getting presentations, uh, having our car appraised, negotiating a little bit, seeing what it's going to cost us monthly payments those sort of things and then the final stage when you're getting off that ferris wheel the the guests are kind of getting off of the prospect ferris wheel and in these stages here they're either deciding yes i'm going to purchase this vehicle uh, arranging financing uh, taking delivery of the vehicle doing a new car delivery or deciding to maybe purchase the other vehicle or maybe not do anything at all and just get off of the the ferris wheel so here's my question who out there's ever had a full pipeline or full ferris wheel yeah and you know let me ask you this does it make coming to work a little bit more fun yeah it makes it actually a lot more fun who out there would like to to fill the seats on the ferris wheel how I mean who wouldn't want to have their seats all full on a ferris wheel so the real big question becomes how do we do that so let's find out so there's a group of easy to talk to people that we all have we all know and they are our family our friends and past customers or, or customers of the dealership so these three categories are fun easy people to talk to they uh, they just simply need to know that you're in the car business you need to remind them of who you are what you do where you work but those are the types of people we want to work with uh, the referral and the repeat customer is anywhere from a 60 to 70 percent closing ratio so it's a better um, it's a better choice of customers to work with and, and it's a lot more fun they trust you like you respect you already so a couple NADA some quick facts NADA says about your customers that 30% of your customers or 30% of people have a family member that's going to be in the market to buy a vehicle new or used in the next 90 days and 62% overall know someone, friends, family, somebody they work with, co-worker, friend of a co-worker, wife's co-worker, who will be buying a vehicle in the next 90 days. So what that really means is that 30% of people out there are really going to be in the market in 90 days for a vehicle, right? A uh, great thing about our business, and that is, is that, you know, everybody, for the most part, needs a vehicle. Um, so what does this red box represent? Well, if 30% of basically people are going to be in the market for a vehicle or know somebody in the market for a vehicle in the next 90 days, if we had a football stadium full of people, that box would represent the people that are going to be in the market in the next 90 days right in there. So uh, pretty impressive. Quite a few people out there. 
and uh, definitely people we want to prospect with because why we want to sell a car today and this month we want to sell a car and eat next month and, and, and two three months down the road so drilling down even further if you would go to a party or, or a gathering and there's anywhere from 10 to 20 people it means there's five to ten buyers in that crowd and in a lot of cases they're your friends and your family so let's uh, let me ask you this who's ever had this happen to them so you show up to a 4th of July annual family and friend barbecue and when you pull up in the driveway you notice that your uncle has uh, license plates from from one of the competing Honda dealerships so you know you're going hey you know I mean I'm selling vehicles I wonder why you didn't call and, and ask me uh, so you hunt them down and and over the course of the, the the picnic or the barbecue you end up hunting them down and you you kind of corner them and ask him hey why didn't you buy for me I'm working for ABC Honda why didn't you look me up and he says to you I, I'm sorry I had no idea that you left GoDaddy or John Deere or wherever you're working so obviously you, you missed out my question to you is whose fault is that is that his fault is that your mom's since that was her brother and she didn't tell him that you're working for for ABC dealer or is that your fault yeah if you picked C your fault you are correct now who's ever had this happen to them and who doesn't who, who wants to make sure this never happens again to them obviously no one wants to have this happen to them so let's talk about how we make sure this doesn't happen to us and what we're going to do is take a challenge so my hope is that uh, you, you take this challenge action item number one for mission 100s this and that is this right here represents the areas of influence circle of influence so these are people in your life that are easy to talk to that you already know and they need vehicles too so you've got your friends here obviously uh, friends you know who they are dealership customers your past customers professional contacts your dentist maybe your barber or hairdresser um, lawyer somebody like that so professional contacts then you've got your of course your spouse's contacts and her family your social contacts clubs you're in maybe you're in a good guys car club or taekwondo or or something to that nature a softball team so your social contacts maybe people from church industry contacts so people that you work with maybe the the dent guy that comes out there maybe his daughter needs a vehicle or the pen striping person something to, to something like that the tire person and then you've got your working customers and then your family again so the next action item action item number two is to learn these five questions so backing up here a second what you want to do here is before we get to the the other action item is I want you to make a list of a hundred people a hundred people on this type of uh, circles of influence use this as your guide and get names phone numbers addresses but phone numbers obviously going to be paramount so make that list and contact all these people and let them know what you're doing and prospecting is just telling people who you are what you do and where you work and if you're wanting to know what to say more than that that's going to be action item number two so action item number two is learning five questions I learned these from the Joe Verde group they're great questions you can ask them at a softball game a, a soccer game you could be at uh, again a church function somebody sees you maybe with your dealership uh, jacket on or a shirt and they'd say hey are you still working over at ABC Honda and you say yeah hey you know by the way they've got us uh, they asked us to reach out to to the public and just they want us to kind of do this informal survey to see kind of about market uh, market uh, when people are in the market for vehicles versus how many vehicles they have in their household can can you just indulge me for a moment sure so you go through and ask these questions whether it's on the phone or as casual situation you just say hey how many drivers do you guys have in your family and how many vehicles do you guys have okay great so of the drivers in your family who'd be the next in line for a new used vehicle Oh, really? You're kidding. It's your son, Bobby. Now, is that going to be pretty soon or later on down the road? You mean like weeks, months, years? Oh, okay. In the next six months, he's going to get his driver's license. Okay. Well, you know, will he be leaning, you think, towards new or used? Used? Okay, so probably a quality, inexpensive, low mileage, good running used vehicle? Yeah, you know, 
those vehicles when they come in on trade or we purchase those vehicles they rarely last so let me ask you this say three months from now I end up finding that type of vehicle should I give you a call or should I just wait till the six month mark oh okay yeah I'll, I'll give you a call if we run into something like that I'll let you know maybe it's a little ahead of time but hey you know the right deal the right deal so the next action item is this it's take your list take the five questions you just learned and smile and dial and let your appointments pile so what you want to do is make uh, take that list make these phone calls you've got to take some action and if you're going to take action the best thing to do is to have some type of goal otherwise you're just willy-nilly just calling people and and maybe one day you make two or three calls another day you make 50 calls and you want some type of goal some type of uh, plan so here's the plan you're going to make five contacts from that list of 100 people per day. Now, contacts. Contact doesn't mean voicemails or leaving a message with uh, somebody's wife or friend or brother or sister. It means contacts. So it may take you 50, heck, maybe even 100 calls to make these five contacts each day. And you ask them these five questions. Will it work for everyone? No, but in a lot of cases, you're going to find out when people are going to be in the market for vehicles. So you're right there and ready when they're in the market. And over a four week period, four times 25 contacts is 100 contacts. And if 30% have a family member that's going to be ready to buy in the next 90 days, that means you've got 30 buyers that you just talked to that are going to buy something either today or 90 days from now. Now, let's say, for instance, that of these 30 buyers that you made a contact with, 15 of them you do end up having come in and look at vehicles. They're in the market in the next 30 days or just one to come in and let's say with a 15 buyers or 15 buyers from here if you closed them at a 60 percent rate you're gonna have nine sales yeah nine sales and if it's a referral then it's probably closer to 60 if it's a past customer it may be more like 70 so again, 60% is what we're using. So nine sales, if you take that times three, 350, we're talking about what, 27 to 30, $3,500, somewhere in there over that period of time just by making these phone calls to these types of customers. Your choice of customer is important. You want to work smart and hard in the car business so you can really, really make it big. So it's really your business it's your ferris wheel or it's it's your little business so you want to fill the seats you want to take control you got to look at this like it's your own little business you're independently contracted by the dealership you they give you a phone they give you an office a computer they pay for office materials a lot of cases they pay for your postage so that's not going to cost you anything to do this prospecting and it's your job to to sell vehicles they've got this inventory there for you and it's you're really the one that's in control of your career so what i would tell you is use what we've learned today fill your seats to the ferris wheel switch over to the better choice of customers the people that like trust and respect you already you'll be helping them out by providing them a service because they need a vehicle and everybody wants to know somebody in the car business that's passionate and and does a great job and you'll be helping yourself out because you'll be making some sales and you'll have a lot of fun both of you will have a lot of fun in the process because you already know each other like each other trust and respect each other I hope this helps but do me a favor if you like it hit like but either way let me know your feedback let me know what you think about this and those of you that do take the initiative and try to do this for 90 days take the mission 100 challenge please do me a favor and get back to me with some comments drop me a comment let me know how it went let me know if you hit better than the nine that I was talking about let me know if you did better let me know if you didn't do that many I would like to know I hope it helps have a great day